Um, these guys, if you're not following them already, you should be because they're from Blackout Grappling, um, the cradle game here, you see that? So uh, when I first came across these guys, I had somebody send me a video of theirs because like we, uh, a buddy of mine that had shown me something with, with cradles at one time and I had very little exposure to cradles other than it's like a wrestling thing. Uh, it's a good holding position, but that's all I knew and I didn't really know anything to do and they were showing all kinds of cool options off of these cradles, like like near side, far side, all these different variations. And so I started watching all kinds of their stuff just on social media, and then they started coming out with instructionals, and they've been really disseminating this information a lot more lately, and we're all lucky to have that resource now because it's really a game changer. Once you see how you can control uh, somebody not just control and hold in like a stationary position the dog catching the car But once you see some of the options these guys provide it's, it's really amazing and you start implementing in your game It's like damn. I wish I'd had this so long ago So I was fortunate enough like to attend their seminar today and then to see all this cool stuff And I was like, can you please do me a favor and, and do a video for my channel because my people will absolutely love it And I promise you're going to so I'm gonna let you guys show some really cool stuff if you'll awesome. do me the favor So very cool. Thank you. Eli. I really appreciate it. Um, so what we're gonna do uh, first is um, we're gonna take it from uh, far side cradle. Come on, Vinny, just lay down here. Um, and what I like to do is uh, I say uh, most of our stuff um, or where we source a, a, a lot of our um, techniques from is a, is a, a folk style application. Um, it's just a strong controlled um, wrestling or uh, controlled grappling movements, um, but a lot of people uh, tend to kind of uh, sleep on it a little bit. Um, so once I establish like a dominant control, then we can start to work towards submission. Um, and what we like to do is, uh, um, we like to resource diff you know, different arts. Um, uh, we have a strong mix of traditional jiu-jitsu and classic catch wrestling, which is kind of formulated um, what we like to call our, um, our, our hybrid submission grappling. Um, so we're just gonna take this from a slide back in, strong far side cradle, strong position. Um, uh, without getting um, you know too deep, we just kind of keep it simple. Um, we don't ride uh, um, you know off angle like this. Our the the position has evolved a little bit. We like to be behind the shoulder, more on the towards the back, like a, like kind of like a backpack. Um, as well, I use the, my knees to kind of frame against his back. Uh, a good grappler doesn't really want to be here. You know, he's looking to turn and face you and follow all the steps that he's been taught. So um, let's just say I've already passed Vincent's guard. Um, I've established uh, my strong uh, far side cradle, good position. His shoulder is centered in the front of my chest. Um, I have my knees framed against his back and I have a, what I like to call active cutting bone. Um, I like to sink this cutting bone in and I'll grip the back of my hand and I kind of suck this in tight. Um, it you, it, it, it um, causes like a, a, a lot of pressure. You may get the tap or you may not, but you'll at least have their attention. So um, what we like to do is uh, just from a traditional, um, you know, uh, folk style, uh, near side cradle or far side cradle. Um, a lot of guys don't like this position. Um, they're they're um, uh, kind of it's they're kind of compromised a little bit more than they want to be. So he'll start to try and flex and bust out. Uh, uh, it's mainly based off of like an ego kind of thing, which is cool. I'll play into it. They try they try to attack your grips. They're trying to flex and bust out. And once he starts to go, I can kind of feel that. And it's tough because, um, you know, there's not too many arms that are as strong as a leg. So I'm not going to waste my energy and fight with him here. I'm just going to capitalize off of his um, desire to escape. So I'm squeezing tight and I know he wants to pop. When he does, you see this kind of reaction. Again, I'm here, I'm squeezing, he's flexing, flexing, pow. But this is the key detail right here. He's already broken protocol by extending himself. And what I want to do with this hand is I'm going to collect his chin. When I collect the chin, this is the detail because I'm twisting his spine. I want to drive my chest forward and turn his chin out in a way. I'm trying to drive him belly down, live toes to push him towards my submission. So I want to drive and I pull, pull, pull. And as I, as I start to um, force him belly down, I want to lift and I punch through. 
I want to make sure my elbow is under the chin and I don't let go until I'm done. I'll move into my gable grip, bulldog choke, get out over the shoulder and sit for the tap. Okay, one more time, a little bit quicker, a little bit meaner. So again, I have a good strong cradle on Vincent. We're fighting, I have pressure on him. I let it pop, boom, bow. get out over the shoulder and finish him. 